coming to the district and we're going to review that call and, and see if we can determine where that call might have come in from. Tonight, Cincinnati police are working to trace a threatening call into District 4. The call at about 3 today, according to a District 4 sergeant, was a bomb threat targeting the Cincinnati Zoo. Police swarmed the area. District 4 had many resources called to the scene. We had our explosive detection canine officers come as well. Uh, we had fire officials on standby. Uh, if, if need be. 50 guests and 75 staff members of the zoo were evacuated, according to investigators. Then police officers and canines rushed in, searching the property and specifically the monkey enclosure. No issues were discovered, no threats, uh, no devices whatsoever. Now Cincinnati police are trying to find the caller and figure out their motive. It's no secret the Cincinnati Zoo has had some flack on social media, very much linked to Harambe. Uh, we've seen it back and forth on Twitter and whatnot. Is this in any way, do you believe, linked to anything like that? I'm not going to comment on that. On social media, a person who claimed to be part of an international hacking group reached out to me saying they made the threat and wanted to cause chaos. They also told me they'd seen Harambe memes online. We have no way of verifying their claims. We took the information to Cincinnati police, but investigators are not verifying anything the person told us relates to the call, saying it's too early in the investigation. Now, we've already requested a copy of the call. Cincinnati police have not turned it over, though tonight they do confirm for us the number used to make the call was not international. Reporting at the zoo, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.